lesson on the Pythagorean theorem. The mathematician Pythagoras proved the Pythagorean theorem. The theorem states that given any right triangle with sides A, B, and C as below, the following relationship is always true about the lengths of the sides. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The triangle must be a right triangle, which means it contains a 90 degree angle. The side C is called the hypotenuse and sits across from the right angle. The hypotenuse is also the longest side of the triangle. It's important that we identify the hypotenuse correctly because looking at the equation, notice how it's on one side of the equation by itself. The legs A and B form the right angle and are interchangeable in the theorem. You can notice how the sides A and B form the right angle. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the missing side around to the tenths place value. So notice right away the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse and it's already labeled C correctly. So now we can label the two legs, A and B, it does not matter which leg is A and which leg is B. So let's call this leg A and this leg B. And now we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the length of the hypotenuse. The Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we substitute seven for A and 12 for B. This gives us seven squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. And now we simplify the left side. Seven squared equals seven times seven, which equals 49. 12 squared equals 12 times 12, which equals 144. Now we find the sum, 49 plus 144 equals 193. We have 193 equals C squared. Our goal is to find C, not C squared, and because C squared is a perfect square, to solve for C, we take the principal square root of both sides of the equation. We know C has to be positive because it's a length, and therefore this is the principal square root. The square root of C squared is equal to one factor of C, so C is equal to the square root of 193. 193 is not a perfect square, and therefore we we'll need to use the calculator to get a decimal approximation for C. Going to the calculator, we enter the square root, 193, enter. To the tenths place value, notice how we round up because of the nine in the hundredths place value. This is approximately 13.9 rounded to the tenths place value. Which means the length of the hypotenuse in the right triangle is approximately 13.9. Normally we do include the units, but in this case, we were not given units. For B, we're asked to sketch the right triangle and find the length of the side not given. Notice how we're given the lengths of the two legs. So let's go ahead and sketch a right triangle. The two legs of the sides that form the right angle, let's label the short leg eight centimeters and the long leg 12 centimeters. Notice the missing length is the hypotenuse which must be labeled C. Let's label the legs A and B, which can be interchanged. Let's call the short leg A and long leg B. And I'll perform substitution into the Pythagorean theorem to solve for C. A squared is eight squared, plus B squared is 12 squared, and this must equal C squared. Eight squared equals 64, 12 squared equals 144, 64 plus 144 is 208. 208 equals C squared. To solve for C, we take the principal square root of both sides of the equation. Again, because we know C must be positive. The square root of C squared equals one factor of C. 208 is not a perfect square, and therefore, we will get a decimal approximation using the calculator. We are asked to round to the nearest hundredth, which means two decimal places. So we enter the square root of 208, enter. Notice there's a two in the third decimal place, so we round down. This is approximately 14.42 
run into the hundredths place value. So because C is approximately 14.42, the length of the hypotenuse is approximately 14.42 centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.